I think that's in a good place. Sorry, mother, that I did this without putting up a sheet behind me like I did when I used to film over here. But, oh. So, we have four collars. Well, four braces. Hold on, gotta put this one together. So we're gonna start just in order of how I got these. And then at the end, I'll take this one off and put on, I guess the Miami since that one's put together and over here. So first I had this one, which actually has padding that goes in the back and everything, but I don't know how to put it on. My mother does it when she gives me a bath because I can't wash my hair by myself. So, well I guess I could, but I would not I would have much less arm function and I'd be a very moody person because not having arm function when you like to use your hands a lot is not a fun situation. So, there's this one. Wait, it also has this. So this is the Aspen Vista. Yeah, and it worked really well for the first, so I got it in December, worked really well December, January, February, and we started off with it like oops, about there I'd say. So. You can't really tell the difference, but basically I cranked down the neck part and then oh, as the months went on, my neck got stretched out more and we were sitting here, which is at full extension. And this, somehow I broke seven of these now. Um, when I break them, this one is, does not happen to be broken. But I'll put a picture like right here um, of it broken. The little plastic pieces right. Ooh. Well, it's broken now. These little plastic pieces. Um, yeah, they are what hold the collar together. And I heard this one crack when I was wearing it the other day. But I didn't think I actually broke it, but apparently I did, and that just broke off the last little bit of the plastic. And so this is what it looks like when it's broken. Um, how to get you to be able to see what I'm talking about? I don't know. Basically, the two pieces would come apart if the top one was broken too. But usually they both snap at the same time. So that's where that this one was. Um... It, for me, my issue is not really like the side to side tilting of my head, it's the backwards, and so this didn't come up very high on my head, so my head could tip backwards and slide backwards all it wanted, and it really only prevented me from looking down because in this one I could turn my head side to side without any problem. This one, I could if I try, but, um, more stuck and then when this one when we were on to collar number like four or five we decided to that maybe we should start looking into a different collar and that's where this Miami comes into play there is a more typical Miami one I'll put again the, a picture like here um, that most people Try after an Aspen. Oh, phone ringing. Should I just talk over and keep talking and pretend I don't hear it? Because that's what I do when, I, when I'm actually here by myself. I don't think they wanted to talk to me. They didn't even leave a message. So, here's the Miami. This one, the lever is changed by a button in the front, this little button. And so, that's a... In my opinion, that's like way too short. But anyways, um, my again in this one, I was at full extension because I guess my neck is long. Which, if I was taller, would my neck be longer and be more of a problem? Who knows? Because I'm a super mini human, 
and I'm not very tall at all, so it doesn't matter, at least for me. And this one, um, the front to back squishiness wasn't really a problem because this is a very like flexible collar. So like if your neck was wider, I guess you could pull it out wider or just get in here. And so I would just like when it was on, push the side in and then pull the strap around so that it would fit my head kind of in there. I don't know. This one, I haven't worn it in a long time. And then this one has a higher up back. It's kind of a soft back though. Like it's kind of rubbery. So it held on my head better than this one did um, for the front to back sliding issue. And I also couldn't turn my head because this comes up all the way to my ears. See how these ones don't. And then after this became, well, this one di didn't last very long for me because I bent it so quickly. So this one, I don't know if you can tell. Well, this one's actually pretty strong. So I guess this is the one I'll switch into in just a moment. Um, but it's this one I had an issue with because my neck muscles are still pr fairly strong considering I've been in a brace for six months um but so i basically just kept bending this one with my neck muscles because i'm yoked <laughs> and then once that one became a problem for sleeping because i haven't laid down to sleep in maybe a year almost now so um we went when sleeping and laying down became a problem then we called in the minerva brace this I wore for two days, if that tells you how this went at all. Um, for me, I think we would need to bend this bar more this way. I don't know how to do that though, because it was um, eh, attached to me. Um, where's the strap? Here's the, the head strap. And so this goes around your forehead and holds your head to this. And for me, that's positioned too far back, I guess. And it was pulling my head off, so my head, when the two days that I wore this, I was only to wear this one at night, and then I would switch to the Miami during the daytime. My head was never connected the entire two days because this was pulling my head off. It did not prevent me from looking side, turning my head side to side, or actually turn looking straight up either. It only this one also only prevented me from looking down, and then. It has this like sandwichy part where I was sandwiched in between it. And also with this, we had the predicament that um, I have that weird thing where my back is crunching over to the side. I mean, if you scroll down in the cards like the um old videos you'll see pictures that i posted of me after like taking a bath basically my back looks like it's crunching that way well now it's crunching the other way and so basically from this holding my body in more of a straight line because it made my shoulders be in line with my hips um the muscles in my back were crunching down super hard when i would take it off and was making back pain like 20 times worse so that was also a downfall of this brace i'm sure if the head thing worked out better and actually held my head onto my body that um that would work out better for us but it didn't so i don't know what our next plan is moving forward we see him later a surgeon in i think next month or the month after because it's pretty much the end of the month. Okay, so I will take this one off. Well, I'm not going to cut the clip, so you'll watch me. This one is not adjusted for my head whatsoever. Okay, so see what I mean? This one, I just bent it, so it doesn't hold up my head, like, hardly at all. But... It's better than wearing nothing or wearing the Minerva for me. So, oh yeah, and on this one, I liked this one's jaw part the most 
because it didn't it doesn't give me sores that is because I feel like my jaw is oddly shaped or something because it's more flat than how these ones are for more of a pointy jaw so here is the what is this one called Aspen multi post therapy collar and then here's the regular Vista the plastic part so this front piece is the same I think as far as I can tell it's the same except for the multi post doesn't come with this I just put it on there it's from one of these because I break them all the time so we have plenty of them to hang around and so this one I was having trouble with the brace not fitting because my neck was too skinny or something and so my chin was falling off of this and this was pretty much in my mouth all the time not a good plan but that's what was happening so oh this is where in the vlog from the day that this is being filmed I was saying that oversharing my life on the internet has been very helpful for me because People told me that Christina, can't remember her last name already again, um, she has a video about tightening these and I followed her instructions and it now fits. And I took out the, how do I do this? In the back, back here, there is a like, jelly um, heating slash cold pack thing that it comes with it just velcroed on back there I just un velcroed it because me and my sensory issues I don't like things that are hot or cold or have the potential to be hot or cold touching the back of my head just one of my weird things this is just um, the airbag for the pumper thing I know very technical names for these things so watch. I don't know if you can see it. Let me do it. But I see how it pumps up. Um, this is probably common sense, but I'm gonna put it out there because I did it. Don't pump it up until you almost pass out. I did that because I didn't really know what I was doing with it when the first day, and so I just started pumping it to see what would happen, and I almost passed out. Letting out all the air now, and so. I'll probably, I, I could link that her video or basically the front padding, you just unvelcro it and then slide the back padding between the plastic and the front padding like that. And then on this side, I already did it. And then you yank the things and then velcro that one into the back hole. And then this one, I always bend it up like this when it's on so that this isn't whacking me in the throat all the time so I think that's all the differences between the four braces um yeah I didn't the other Miami one the one that's more common with the darker blue and white that one didn't work out for me because it squeezed the sides of my neck and made me really dizzy Again, not really sure what that was about, my getting all dizzy from that, because these touch my neck equally as much, but I don't feel like I'm going to pass out when I wear them. So anyways, um, that, I guess to recap all that I've said, this um, has, well I've only had it for about a week or two, maybe a week. I don't really know, but it has been my favorite of the four so far because it prevents my head from sliding back because the back on this one is much higher than the back on this one. And it's a lot more like stiff, so my head can't just bend the thing back because see how these are kind of up there and then this one I could just with my head just kind of like fold it down and then same thing down here if I got this caught on anything it just kind of like bends up but this one does not so it's a this one so far seemed a lot more strengthy definitely not the word I'm looking for um because I have I haven't cracked this one yet 
The plastic piece might still crack on this one, yes, but the has worked out. I also at first did not like this and I thought that it was giving me a rash on my chin because my face was really itchy when I was first wearing this but it got used to it so it might have just been something that I was around at the time because I was in public. So anyways I think that I have rambled on for long enough about all the colors. If you want a video more in depth on any of these or a follow up as these things go on, um, I'll make a video about it. Well, see ya in the vlog. Bye!